First of all, I'd like to thank God for allowing me to do this video today. Um, I want to say I appreciate all my subscribers and all the people who um, show me love and all my friends uh, on YouTube. Um, I um, haven't did videos in a while, but hopefully... God willing, I'll be able to do more videos, hopefully in the coming weeks, months, and days. Um, this is um, a sensitive topic that I'm uh, addressing today. And um, before you judge, hear me out. Okay. Um. You know how you guys go to the store and you uh, purchase a bag of chips to eat with a sandwich or something. Well, I went and purchased a couple of bags of Doritos the other day. And, you know, on one bag I'd see, um, you know, a white boy with a story of... of um, some achievement he's done or something like that. I got another bag. I seen a white girl. She helped the community. Positive, right? Right. I seen, you know, you a Latina or uh, or a Latin person. Um it was something maybe fed a homeless the homeless or something like that. It was po this positive, you know? I'd seen, uh, you know, in a Chinese and something else. They had another story of a Chinese. It was positive. So, um, I, I recently here got a, another bag of Doritos. And when I uh, purchased the bag, I got home and uh, opened it, you know. Happened to look on the bag, you know, and I seen a beautiful black woman. And I was thinking in my mind. Oh, wow, this is going to be interesting to see. And it's going to be interesting because this is a so-called, well, a beautiful black woman. Now, mind you, uh, from what I've been learning, black people are the real Jews of this earth, okay? But my uh, point here today is uh, a beautiful black woman is what I saw on this Doritos bag, and I was thinking this is gonna be a beautiful story about a black woman who's a, who's a, who has an, a, achieved a, a, a brilliant goal, uh, like all the previous ones was, like the whites and everybody else. Well, when I looked at the um, story, I seen this beautiful black, so-called black woman or Jew. And uh, this is, I'm going to show you what I saw, okay? You see, see how pretty she is? Beautiful, you know? Hope you guys can see that. You know, the light kind of hurts the, the light kind of hurts the uh, the picture, you know? But uh, kind of hold it close. See how pretty she is? Beautiful. And, her, and um, I'm not going to, uh, if you caught her name, cool, but if you didn't, then I'm not going to say her name and all that, but she's beautiful, okay? Um, what happened was, I, w I went down to the story that they had at the bottom, and I'm going to just give you a little glimpse of it to let you know that it's real, okay? Okay, that's the story, what I just showed you. If you go... For, and I'm sure, you know, you know, Doritos, they probably distribute and distribute, I'm sorry, in your area as well, wherever you are. So, um, you know, uh, of course, the company is owned by white people. So, um, back to the story, I said that I believe that this was about when I first seen her, how beautiful she was and all the previous stories were positive. Um, I 
believed and thought that this story was about to be this beautiful story, positive story where this young Jew, black Jew has done something positive. And what I did, and as soon as the paragraph started, as soon as the, you know, the from the first from jump, it immediately said question mark tested positive for HIV. That's the first thing it said. Now. Uh, one thing I noticed about the media is that when it comes to black people, they like to um, like on with crime. They all put they always push it up in the media how huh? with with a black on black crime, you know, Mexican on blacks crime, you know, M Mexican on Mexican crime, you know, the you know it's it's very um, negative whenever. Uh, it comes to this so-called black people. I say so-called because I, from what I'm understanding, the the black people are the real Jews. Um, the point here is, is that when I read the story, and it, and from the Jump Street, from the beginning of the story, it said she had tested positive for. HIV it was very offensive because why would you put so many white people on and have so positive of um, information to follow their pictures and then the only young black girl you put on or so called black her story is a um a man made disease made by white people that in the media and in the news and you say that black people have the leading cases of it. For instance, to show you that I'm not alive, watch the movie um Why Did I Get Married? And in that movie, Tyler Perry says black women have the leading cases of AIDS, you know, and HIV in America. Now, now you ask me why I brought up that not to point any fingers at them it has nothing to do with any anything but the point that I'm making. The reason why I brought that up is because the same people who own Doritos and the same people who run Tyler Perry is who are over Tyler Perry are in cahoots and it's beneficial to them to downgrade black people now and keep them divided and separated um I um another thing I was going to bring out is why would you have anything about AIDS on a bag of chips that people consume is very silly as a, a chips company what new company would ever put anything out about AIDS on their or uh, on their product in one of your sales you see Doritos can do it because people want to buy it anyway they could put infected with AIDS the chips are and put it in small print people wouldn't read it but the the few who do, okay, they'd read it and and then probably stop. But they know, you know, they they already have the uh, consumers in, in a in a chokehold. So I mean, they they're gonna buy it regardless. Anyway, um, tune in again. Uh, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a second part to this. Um, a few more things to elaborate on and um, so uh, tune in for the second part um, I'll see you in a minute peace